Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Sam here, the Fighting Felter. Um, today I thought we'd have a look at making our own uh, felting mat. Um, there are quite a lot of uh, tutorials on YouTube to, to make felting mats. Um, and there's, like, there's lots of different ways to do it. Um, all I'm going to do, I'm just going to talk you through how I made my, um, this one that I made initially. Um, and I'm just going to make a little smaller one today just for the purposes of this film. So when I did uh, this mat, I actually used this tin um, as my base. Obviously, it's full of felt. Um, but literally, I just emptied everything out of it and stuffed it. <coughs> so that's what we're going to do today, but just on a slightly smaller version. So like I say, you can. there's lots of different ways you can do, uh, create like your shape that you're going to use. You can either do... Uh, make yourself like a cardboard frame uh, that can go around a, a mat that you've already got um, just to make yourself like a template um, but I find just popping it in just something helps to keep it form nicely so all I'm using today is I've got some core wool here um, I've got some just regular core wool that's from world of wool and i've also got some of the makers lanolin rich core wool um so i'm just going to use this first to see how we get on um but yeah all you will need is a container or a cardboard frame uh to put around an existing mat so you've got a template or a tub you could use a round um like ball or something like that whatever shape or size you want really and um, like I say I'm just going to make a, a smaller one but I'm going to make a slightly deeper one uh, because when I made this one it is actually okay but it could have done with being just a little bit deeper so I'm going to make this one a little bit deeper and we're going to use some needles and I'm probably going to go with a coarse needle to start with um, and then work up as we go along but okay so let's get started. Right, so we'll start by just grabbing a bit of core wool and just start by popping a few little chunks in the corners. Okay, and then just pop some more on. And then literally start felting. I'll be obviously be very careful because that I am hitting the bottom of um, this box here. Just get it all squished in. And then we'll pop another layer on. Again, making sure that you're going right into the corners. And I'm just going to use a two prong just to get this squished into the corners. Sorry about that, there was somebody at the door. Right, so yeah, so you've got everything in and then literally just... it. it <laughs> It's not a quick process, but then no felting is a quick process. Um, I'm just going to speed this up and just literally just keep working and eventually it will start to flatten and compact. And just going all around the edges. Right, I'll pop this on. Speed us up a bit. And then you can see it's actually starting to, to stick together now. So just pop it back in. And then I like to pop another few bits really in the corners. A few little extra pieces, shove, shove them really far down. Yeah. 
and then I'm just going to pop another little layer on and then we'll go back to speed. I have literally just had to stop there because I've just snapped a needle. Um, I'm telling everyone to be careful and I've just snapped a needle. Um, yeah, so you do need to be very careful. The good thing with, if you're going to do a felting mat with a cardboard template round an original um, felting mat that you've already got, that will actually be a lot easier to do and it will felt a lot quicker. Uh, because this is obviously in plastic, it, it's quite slippy. Uh, but it will get there. Definitely will get there. So I'll pop you back on speedy and I'll get back to it. So as you can see now, it is starting to, I'll just pop it out. You can see there, it is starting to join together. So I'm just going to pop it over, turn it over, and then carry on again. I've just thought there, um, I haven't said how much wool I've used. Um, so I'll get the, I'll just quickly grab the scales now and I'll have a little look, see how much wool I've used so far. Um, and I'll measure this tub for you just in case, just to give you a rough idea if you're using something similar. Right, this is about 15 and a half centimetres by about 21. And... The wool currently that I've used so far weighs 66 grams. And as you can see, it is starting to, to really come together now. So I'll just pop it back over on that side and we'll give it another 10 minutes. So, I think we're getting there. But please, please, please all be so careful with your needles because I don't want everyone to go and break the needles and then be chasing me. Just please, please be very careful. If you really don't want to risk breaking any of your needles, uh, my advice would be to use the cardboard um, frame method. Just a little tip um, with your needles to try and stop them breaking. I've been holding my finger um, actually on the needle so it can't go too far down. Um, yeah, so that'll just help you avoid hitting the bottom if you just use your finger as a little guard. Because honestly, please be so careful with your needles. I hope you're all doing well. Um, I've not been too good. I've I've had a few pretty bad couple of weeks really. Been having a lot of problems with my stomach and feeling sick and I just recently had some radiotherapy back in June. Um and I'm not sure whether it's side effects from that or what. But I've got a scan booked for the 1st of September. Um, but I'll do a vlog anyway and I'll take you along for the ride if you want to come. And like I say, I am going to sit and tell my story um, at some point this week. I was thinking I, I was going to do it in one sitting, but to be honest, I think that might be a bit... Um, 
a bit hard work, not just for me, but also I think for people watching. I don't, I think maybe if we just break it up in little small like sections sort of thing, I think that might be a better idea. If anybody's got any better ideas or, or how you think I could tell my story, pop it in the comments, please, because I'd, I'd love some advice. As I say, I'm brand new to all this YouTube business and... But I honestly, I've been so inspired and so helped by, you know, other people that are in similar situations to myself. And, you know, and it, it, it does. And, and I just think if I could, I don't know, if I could just raise awareness and help one person. And then that'd be pretty cool. So I'll just pop this back on there, speedy mode, and we'll get this felted down a little bit more. So I think we're about ready to take this out of the tub and start finishing off around the edges and things. Just give everywhere another good go. And this is another good chance to have a little look at your mat and just see if it's the, the right thickness. Don't, obviously, the thing is with a wool mat, the more you use it, the more it is going to felt. Um, and that's why I've made this little one, really, because this one is a lovely size. It's just not very deep. Um, so I thought if I make myself a little one to go on the top or obviously just to use on its own. But that's why I wanted to make this one a bit thicker. But yeah, bear in mind that it will obviously felt down. Right. So let's have a little look. Right. So now you've got it out of the box. We just really need to go around and start give all the like work all the way around the sides switch to a slightly finer needle I'm just trying now to just tidy up the edges and felt all the sides in together You can even, one minute, you could even just get a bit more core wool and felt that round the edges. Let's do that on this one. It'll just give it a bit of a cleaner finish as well. And then literally just go around all four sides. And turning it over and getting your little line in. It's got nice rounded little corners. And just keep working that all the way around. I'll put it in speedy mode and we'll get this done. Okay, so that's basically our mat done. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go off camera for a little bit and finish this off, tidy it all up, finish the edges uh, and just generally neaten it up. 
just be, only because I feel like you've just been watching this video for the last three weeks. Um, yeah, I'll go and work on this for a little bit and I'll come back to you. Okay, right. So I've basically, I've just gone round it and just tidied up. I mean, I haven't done it properly because for the purpose of this video, I think we would be here for literally too long. Um, obviously, you, you work on yours for as long as you're happy with it. I, I will probably spend a bit more time working on this. I'll, or I might just, yeah, actually, I'll go and spend another 10, 15 minutes um, and then we'll think about getting it covered. I really apologise this video has been so long. I didn't think it would like, I just hope I haven't bored you all. Right, I'll be back in a few minutes. Right, so I've just gone round everywhere and just tidied it up a bit. Um, you could spend a lot more time smoothing it out, but like I say, for the for this video, I don't want to keep you here half your life, really. Um, so I'm just going to go on ahead and cover it, and then I'll I'll spend a lot of time at the end um, working on it to get a nice smooth finish. Uh, but like you say, if when you're uh, finishing, if you come across any little like holes, just pop a little bit of wool in. Fill up the holes. Go. Right. So I was just going to cover this with a bit of um, carded wool that I had. Um, I just grabbed some red and blue. So. All you do, you, you don't have to, you don't even have to colour it if you don't want. You could literally just finish it and then that would be absolutely perfect. But I'm going to add some little stripes. So I'll start at the side. And I'll just secure this in place. Just remember when you're working on the corners to work round the corners. Try and keep, change the angle of your needle so that you follow the actual bend. And like you say, you can do it any way you want. You can cover the whole thing. You can just cover one side. You don't have to cover it. It's absolutely, it's your felting mat to do with whatever you wish. I just wanted to try and show you a quite an easy way. I certainly wouldn't say a quick way, but like you say, nothing in felting is quick. So then just keep going. I'll put it, I'll speed it up. Um, but literally, just keep going with whatever colours you want. Tack it all in place and then you can just go around and work. So I'll just pop it in, turn the volume, yeah, turn the speed up a bit and I'll get cracking. Right, I've just had a little think. Um, it's starting to get a bit late and we're losing a bit of light now. <coughs> so I'm 
excuse me and obviously i feel like this video has gone on for a long time um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna leave this part here and i'm gonna do another video tomorrow where we actually get this finished and i'm gonna i'm gonna wet felt it um i wasn't gonna i was just gonna leave it just as it was and obviously just smooth it all off and finish it um, but I think what I'll do is I'll do a part two tomorrow and I think we'll wet felt this. Um, so I'll leave this tutorial as it is for now um, as part one of making the felting mat. And I will upload again tomorrow the second part and we'll get this finished. I do apologise, it seems to have gone on for a long time. Um, and I hope everyone found it helpful. If you've got any questions, um, just pop anything in the comments. If I haven't gone through anything clear enough or anything um i'll just quickly wear this just so we can see what the final amount of wool that we've actually used it was so that weighs 113 grams so that's how much we've used so and like you say you can do you could do them smaller i mean i've done this one a lot thicker than that one um but you can do them any size you can do them any shape whatever whatever you know you want to do really but anyway um if you like this video if you could just click the thumbs up button and if you want to see any more of my videos hit the subscribe and leave me a comment if you want to ask anything or like i say if i haven't been clear or anything okay right take care bye